As the sun rises over the horizon, casting a golden glow over the tranquil waters of Harnai Beach, a faint buzz of excitement fills the air. A gentle breeze carries the scent of the ocean as the coolies, the master fisher folk, set out to sea in their majestic flag-bearing boats. These vessels, each bearing the legacy of generations past, are a marvel to behold. Propelled forward by the skilled hands of the coolie captains, the Tandil. As days turn into nights, they spend their time communing with the sea. They cast their dole nets and navigate their way into the sea for fish. With each catch, the coolie boatmen, the khalashi, fill their holds with the bounty of the sea, preserving it with tons of ice for trade. As the boats return to shore, the air fills with excitement as the coolies finish yet another week-long trip successfully. The once calm beach of Harnai comes alive with a flurry of activity. Small boats overflowing with the day's catch eagerly wait to be unloaded. It is then that the unique bullock cart system of the Harnai beach comes into play. With expert precision, the coolies guide their loyal beasts into the sea. As the carts trundle through the shallow waters, the men unload their catch and pass it on to the waiting hands of auctioneers at shore. But the day is far from over for the real excitement is just beginning. The auctioneers, who are often the boat owners themselves, take center stage. With voices that carry over the roar of the waves, they name their prices and the buyers signal their bids. It's a lively dance, this auction, with the best fish changing hands in the matter of moments. Amidst all the chaos, there is a sense of order and purpose. For the Kohli's of Hanai, this is not just a trade, it's a way of life. They take great pride in their work, knowing that the fish they catch will feed families across Maharashtra and beyond. There are two processes. One, if you have given your boat in advance, and if you have a company, if you have a company, if you have a requirement, then you will give it directly to you. If you have advance, then you will fix it. If you have an auction, if you have 300 mega, then you will give it. तो उनको 295 करेगा क्योंकि अपना एडवांस दिया हुआ है तो 5 परसेंट या 5 रुपीस का अपना ये रहता है कमीशन से रहता है जिसने उनको ये दिया है एडवांस दिया हुआ है उनको और दूसरा प्रोसेस है जो बोट वाले डायरेक्ट ऑक्शन में लाते हैं ऑक्शन में से कैरेट में अपने को वेट के हिसाब से अंदाज के हिसाब से बोली लगाना पड़ता है और वो लेना पड़ता है परचेस करना पड़ता है तो कोली वेमेन ऑफ हरनाए आर ट्रूली अ फोर्स टू बी रेकंड विद as the primary sellers of fish in the community, they are responsible for ensuring that the freshest catch is sold at the highest price. What isn't sold to traders or distributors is bought by these formidable women who then sell the fish at the bustling market just a few meters away. Their reputation precedes them, as the men of the community consider Kohli women nothing short of goddesses. Their opinions are highly valued. With a wide variety of fish on display, Pomfret, surmai, squids, lobsters, shrimp. They arrange each one with care, creating a visual that attracts both domestic buyers and tourists. Dressed in mid-length saris and pallus tied at their waist, and an air of confidence, they try to call buyers in their most welcoming tone. Their green and gold glass bangles clink as they walk, adding a touch of music to the bustle of the market. सकाया में लोकर पांच वर्ष तो उठते हैं, पांच वर्ष तो उठो ना में देव पूजा आंगोल में बोल धरे जनंतरा हमारा पावने आठ लाख थे धंधे और जाल लगते हैं, मुलान से उठ कुन शाह बिलत मुलानों सुर ना हमारा पावने आठ वर्ष तो जाल लगते हैं, पावने आठ वर्ष तो हम इधर गेलो ना धंधे ला, रामे ये पर the hustle at Harnai settles when the harsh monsoons hit the beach. The coolies are off duty between May and August, waiting for the rain to die down. The Kohli women manage to save money throughout the year for this period. With their main livelihood on a break, the coolies have time to indulge in other activities. Boats are repaired and nets are woven to prepare for the upcoming fishing season. 
the large families visit beautiful temples of their matron goddess ek veera ai and worship lord ram they also celebrate their kul devta vithoba and his consort rukmini this isn't the only time the kolis indulge in grand religious festivals festivities are a central part of the koli culture ram navmi holi ganesh chaturthi geeta jayanti are some of the most prominent ones the kolis don't fish during these festivals and instead sing bhajans and carry a palki of the god around koli weddings are no short of festivals either the three day celebration includes the mehndi haldi and phera ceremonies unlike conventional weddings the mahadev kolis consider haldi to be the most auspicious part of the wedding the bride is adorned in a beautiful sari and gold jewelry before she walks to the temple barefoot with her cheerful family and friends dancing around her this procession is similar to the barat that drops the bride after the wedding to her new home nara purnima apla nara sajare nara karta tayar karto apla jo ja ja ramnami hai na kya ji ramnami hai ta ji nara karto nara karna to visarjan karto the kolis worship the forces of nature and don't start the next fishing season without honoring the sea they celebrate narli purnima on the last day of the shravan month the whole community gathers in their best attire to worship the ocean an integral part of their livelihood the community offers a coconut asking the sea to protect them from its perils and seek permission to start the new fishing season the kolis return to their livelihood at sea in september after the breeding season with the kolis lifestyle come many problems over the past few years the competition from fishermen with advanced technology like led fishing has increased these methods affect the catch and risk pervading their livelihood adversely while many members of the community are educated with graduate degrees caste based discrimination compels them to an uncertain future as challenging as their livelihood is the kolis are a people with big hearts and wide smiles the drive and passion they have for what they do can act as a beacon of inspiration for all of us